I purchased this NCE EB1 circuit breaker off eBay. And I purchased this to replace a DCC Specialties PSX1 that died. And the PSX1 was a circuit breaker for Section 2. I couldn't find a replacement PSX1. And this NCE EB1 looked like a good replacement. So I thought I would give it a try. And I paid $33 for this circuit breaker. And it has a 10 amp capacity. Now I have the dip switches set for 4.1 amps. If you flip this around, you can see my configuration is for 4.1 amps. I chose that because I could potentially run four locomotives at one time. So I thought that would be a current capacity that wouldn't overstress my wiring but would give me enough current to run four DCC locomotives. Doesn't look too complicated. I should be able to just drop it in. I have the input from the DCC system, output to the track. I have a remote status light here, so I should be able to take everything from the PSX1 and just plug it into this NCE EB1 circuit breaker. So it should be a pretty easy install. The only thing I may have to do is drill some new mounting holes. Well I've already taken the PSX1 loose. Now something I'm going to want to pay attention to is the A and B for the track. I'm going to want to get that the same as the PSX1 for the stonewall section of the layout. Because when I switch to one block to the next block, I don't want to have the signals reversed. I have the NCE EB1 connected. It's from a DCC system output to the track. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn on track power. And the status light comes on. And the status lights for my PSX1 are on. So that's looking good. We turn off track power. I have the NCE EB1 mounted. I have the remote status light connected. That works. So everything should be ready to go. You can see this expansion gap right here. On this side of the gap, the older DCC Specialties PSX1 for the Stonewall section powers this section of track from here back. Now from the expansion gap this way, the new NCE EB1 is powering the track from here over to section 2. So everything's working like it should. And with section 2 powered back up, we have our freshly installed Walther's number 5 turnout for August powered. And you see the GP20 glides right over the turnout with no problems. Now I don't see any visual signs of this DCC Specialties PSX1 having damage, but it just stopped outputting the track signal. So obviously there's something wrong with it. The NCE EB1 fixed the problem. Everything's working again. This is the first time I've had any type of electronics failure. And the layout's been up and running for several years now, so that was unexpected. I guess those things happen. Glad everything's up and functioning like it should. I thank you for watching.